welcome to the first Busy Great Spaces tour of 2016. We're so glad to have you all here. It's a pretty, pretty amazing spot to start the year with, I'm sure you can all agree. So we'd like to uh, thank very much the owners of this beautiful apartment, uh, Charles and Mr. Singh Grimald, for welcoming us uh, into their home today. Uh, and without further ado, I'm going to hand over to Busy's editor-in-chief, I'm just so thankful that you are sharing this best kept secret in Cape Town with all of us. Over to you. It started off as a project and a, a, a holiday apartment and we grew, as we went on over the three years we did everything and the idea was to do it as um, economically as possible because you can easily overspend on a place like this. Everything that you design has to fit either into a lift or you have to carry it up the stairs. So we ended up putting up a waste on the side of the building and you can walk upstairs and look at the balcony. So we put up a waste there and we had to waste. For instance, this this is one granite slab and we had to cut it unfortunately because it was too heavy to, for the lift and so eventually we had to take it up. Bought a couple of wheelie bins and we put all the material for, uh, for the screens. We had to put all that, we mixed it downstairs, put the pigment in, put it into the wheelie bins and brought it up at night. That sort of thing. We built a table, designed it, and made a mistake with the size so it's a bit higher but then people could fall asleep on the table so it's fine. <laughs> and then um, we started importing stuff, you know, to just furnishing it and things. And, and then also, um, this, uh, you've got the view and the design, and obviously when Bartholomew and them designed I mean, you designed the building to optimize the view, that's it. But that's also where the sun sets. This and just has got lots of ideas and we fight a lot about what she wants and what I want. That's, that's normal and then in the end she gets her way. Defining a um, industrial shed on top of a um, residential building is the probably the most important find that I realized um, what a gem we've seen yet and it was also unfinished and that's the main reason why I approached the developer and bought it unfinished as it is. And then once you walk in here you realize the volume and the space and the dynamics of this whole place then you immediately fall in love with it. And, uh, being an industrial architect um, it really appealed to me.